Okay, so today I'm going to uh, convert a uh, fluorescent light into LED using these uh, LED strip lights. Now, these are the uh, the bright ones. I think they're uh, 5230s. Let me check. But uh, yeah, if you're thinking about buying 5050s, I don't think they're going to work. This is the 5630 LED. And uh, what's good about it is each LED on this strip is 25 lumens. Okay. So I think this gives it about 6,000 lumens just for the whole strip. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a uh, fluorescent light fixture, remove the, remove the guts, and... Uh, Put these LED strips on it and see how that works. So here I have my LED light. Now you can see I I already uh, I already removed the ends. Okay, I removed the ballast. Frankly, I'm tired of buying fluorescent light bulbs that only last a couple days, a couple weeks at the most. So what we're going to do is put three or four strips of this uh, LED onto this. And this LED tape has a sticky back to it. And uh, when we're done, we'll just need to hook it up to this uh, transformer. That's a special transformer for this size LED. It's actually uh, five watts. Smaller ones are like two watts, and I don't know if that'll hold it or not. So I just went and bought the five watt one. Even though we're only going to be using like three out of the five meters of this strip, so this is a five meter strip, and uh, there's 60 LEDs per meter, and the length is five meters. So I think we're only going to need three strips to make a nice. Uh, 4500 lumens light. Now I just bought one of those lights and it was uh, $50 at the store. This uh, roll of strip here is $10 and this this is about $10 also. So for $20 we're going to resurrect our old fluorescent fixture, shop light fixture, whatever you want to call it, and make it into an LED, LED light. And how this works is you can cut this LED at these intervals here. I don't know if you can see that good on the camera. You can cut them right there and there's a positive and negative. And then you just come down the next side and you have to solder these two things together or use a, a connector. Which you have to buy the right size. I have the wrong size so I'm just going to solder them. I'm told that soldering is more reliable anyway than the, than the cheap connectors. So that's what we're going to do. So let me uh, get this first strip laid out. Okay, I got the first strip laid out. Now I was going to see if I wanted to put it in here, but it looks like I'm, if I do that, it's going to be more focused light. So I'm going to bring it more to the center. And it looks like it, my uh, light is spreading out more. And that's what I want. I'm going to use this in my kitchen up in that drop ceiling. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, stick this strip down. And... Uh, then we'll uh, add the next strip, but you can see how bright these LEDs are. They are bright. Alright, let me unplug it. And we'll get back to it. Alright, so now I'm starting to lay down my strip here. I'm going to be careful, don't get it twisted. Come straight down, pull out, pull out the tape. Once this is on there, I don't think it's coming off. It says 3M tape. I'm not sure about that, but it's all double-sided tape is pretty strong. Okay, so our first strip is down. Make sure it's stuck good. Now 
And what we're going to do is start from the other end with the next strip so that when we uh, solder the wires, it'll be uh, easy going. So let's plug that in again, make sure it's still working good. Oh yeah, looking good. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next strip. Okay, you can see I'm getting my uh, second strip laid down. Almost to the end here. To pick a spot to cut it. And we can only cut it at the certain spots. And once it's stuck, I'm trying to pull it up. That's two strips down. And we'll start on this end and come back the other way. And that'll be our third strip, and then we'll do the soldering. And then uh, we'll see how nice our light is. Back for our third strip. Come around the other side here. My, my line went a little off, and I'm not going to be able to pull it back up, so I'm just going to have to straighten it out from here. No big deal. Just keep going. Don't ruin it by trying to peel it off. It doesn't work. The scissors. Okay, well, except for the little part where I went under here, no big deal, it's all going to be hidden in the ceiling. You can see I almost got it done here. I'm just going to make uh, some soldering connections, and then we're done. So let me get my uh, soldering gun plugged in, <coughs> and we'll be right back. Okay, so to solder the ends, I'm just going to use this 22 gauge alarm wire from Radio Shack. It's just a gray and a white wire. So basically, I got to put two wires down there, positive and negative, and two wires down this end, positive and negative, and uh, that, that'll be it. So let me get these stripped, and we'll be right back for the soldering. Alright, so basically, we're just going to tin the wires first. So, and uh, tin the connections so that way it's making it easy for, for an easier connection. So I'm gonna make sure this is hot. So you're tinning is just getting it ready for the uh, soldering. So when you get the heat on it, it automatically sticks. So if you One wire. Okay, so those wires are tin. Now you can see I got a, a couple dots of solder on the 
contacts here. I'm gonna get a couple. I'm gonna get a couple on these dots right here, like that, and like that. See now, now they're ready to accept these wires, which will make this a lot easier. So we'll do the uh, outside one first. That'll be positive. I'll use the gray ones for positive. So now we just should have to just touch it here. Stuck. Second one stuck, that's a positive. Now we'll use our white for our negative. One here. One right here. Stuck. That's good. Don't pull on it. Make sure it's stuck. That's all. That's good. All right. Now we just got to stick the other end. And then we'll light it up and see what it looks like. Okay. Now we're going to solder up the other side. First, I'm going to see how I marked it, so I don't get confused with the other side. So we're going to tin these. In these four spots here, one, two, three, four. I already tinned these wires, so we're going to use uh, white for negative. Now, negative is going to be on the outside ones this time, so we're going to go here, negative. trouble with this one because probably I didn't tin it good. Let's do the other side. Helps to put a little side on your gun. Stuck that time. We get the positive, which is the gray. Okay, one. Yeah, that should be it. All our ends are soldered up. See, we got the plug on this end. Shut the siren iron off. See, it just plugs in here to the power supply. And. Plug it in, 
power it up. We'll see how bright our lights are, if our connections are good, if we made any mistakes. Whoa, that's bright. Yeah, that is bright. That's around uh, 4,500 lumens. So 1,500 lumens per strip. 25 lumens per LED. That's pretty, pretty damn impressive, if you ask me. Man, it lights up this whole area. Okay. So that's it. That's how you convert a 4-foot LED shop light to LEDs. 4-foot fluorescent shop light to LEDs, rather. And uh, I have some other LEDs. I'm going to make another video about that. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, one other thing I want to say is uh, you can see I bent this this tab down that was for the uh, fluorescent so that this had room to go so now I'm going to use it the zip tie to, to tie it around that little hook I made when I bent it over and that'll keep this from pulling away you know from any any weight that might be on it you know the weight of the wire is what I mean so that's all we can leave that like that Put this off And now it's good. You don't have to make it tight. And none of these are edges are sharp on this, this model anyway. So oh, and then they say you could uh you could dust these with a duster, you know, if they get dusty. So that's about it. Now I'm gonna go take this up in the kitchen and install it. Thanks for watching.